Well, science does not even study matter first. I am aiming to link matter to science for this reason because physics at present does not study matter by itself. This may come as a surprise to most people who routinely assume that science describes the world of matter through various concepts such as gravity, atoms, genes and so on. For such people, it may come as a total surprise to learn that Newton invented, not discovered, the concept of gravity to correctly predict positions of a falling apple. Gravity is a fictional instantaneous force that Newton posited as springing up between two masses such as the earth and the apple. Indeed, in creating their theories, physicists introduced a fictional mathematical world first, featuring fictional mathematical objects such as a point particle or a wave function and fictional concepts such as gravity invented by them that leads to correct predictions of observations they make upon the world of matter. Thus, Einstein accounted for the same motion of, in terms of a different theory in which he invented, yet again, not discovered, Another mathematical concept called curved space-time. When a heavy person sits on a sofa, the sofa noticeably curves. Similarly, in the presence of Earth, a relatively heavy body, the space-time around it curves such that an apple in its vicinity appears to freely fall while sliding down along the curved space-time. The notion of gravity is replaced by curved space-time in Einstein's theory, but they both make the same predictions for speeds that are far less compared to the speed of light. So which one of those theories is giving a true description of the world? Due to this underdetermination of theory by data, no single theory can be said to describe the world underlying the observations by virtue of correctly predicting these observations. At best, it can only be said that physics invents mathematical pictures that can predict the observations we make in the material world. Physicists simply choose one theory over another only based on their greater predictive content. Could it be that physics does not uniquely describe matter, but does produce different models of matter appropriate to predict different sets of data, and these models are correct in these realms? Eventually, scientists hope to arrive at a unified theory of everything. If so, how can it be said that physics does not study matter at all or describe it? In future videos, we will show how even this less ambitious claim about science has also been proven false by physics itself. Please note that this topic on scientific realism versus anti-realism has vast scholarly technical literature. I have my own scholarly position here that goes under the name tandem realism. However, in this popular presentation, I am only touching upon some main points in a simple manner. So, returning to the original question, am I trying to link consciousness to science? We have to ask this question first. If physics is not even directly linked to matter, but only to the observations we make upon matter, then how can science be linked to consciousness directly? So, Spiritualists who wish to talk about consciousness in the context of modern science would have to first face this challenge of linking science to matter before they can link science to consciousness. My own scientific work is aiming to achieve this connection between science and matter before we try to scientifically explain what is consciousness.